Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we are going to rejoice, and we are going to be glad in it. I am Pastor Danielle. I am the lead pastor here at Christian Church for All Nations, and we are located at 14205 East 12 Mile in the beautiful city of Warren, Michigan. And I want to thank you once again for dropping by on this Tuesday to join in in our Tuesday devotional. And we're going to open up in a time of prayer. And as I say all the time, if you have a prayer request, if you have a prayer need, please let us know in the comments below how we can pray for you. We are going to unite our faith together and we're going to pray and believe and declare and decree what thus says the Lord. And as the Lord is answering those prayer requests, let us know because we want to rejoice with you. So let's go before the Lord in prayer on this day. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you for this day, that this day you've given us, this day that we're making the decision to rejoice and we are going to be glad in it. Lord, we take this time right now to lift up my brothers and sisters. Lord, you know the situation, you know the need, and Lord, we know that there is nothing too hard for you. So Lord, we ask that you will just continue, Lord, to minister, you know, the strength to the people, Lord God, Lord, that we are not going to get weary as we're waiting on what is to unfold. So right now, Lord, we thank you for healing, as your word says. We thank you that you are a provider. You're at everything. You are all in all. So we release these things to you. And once again, Lord, we make that commit and say, Lord, we're taking our hands off and we're lifting our hands up in praise and prayer to you and say, Lord, we surrender and we trust. Thank you for this time and this opportunity where we can talk about everyday life and then how it applies to your word and to us. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Well, how are you doing on this day? Oh my goodness. It is June 27th. Can you believe it? Can you believe like we were like over halfway over the year. I know it's crazy to think that in just a few short months, we'll be back at the end of the year and it'll be ooh, winter time here in Michigan. But right now it is summertime and I'm loving this season that we in, that we are in. I love, you know, the warm season. I love the warm months and all that that goes along with that. And you can, can think about it as like the dog days of summer oh those think about it oh those summer days and so as we look at this time that we're in yes we're at the end of june heading into july and the fourth of july holiday weekend we can look at where are we at right now think about how when we started out with the new year we started going in hard with our goals our expectations our vision board and i want to ask you how are those things going for you? And yes, you know, at this, you know, generally by most people, as studies have says, by January, all those resolutions, those goals, by mid-January, they go out the door. But why not during the summertime? Let's take this time to reset and refocus. Because we know that we have expectations and then we have the reality of the matter. And so during these times that we live in, and I don't know about you, do you ever feel like you're just doing the same thing over and over, day in and day out? Yeah, that's life, that's being an adult, you know, that's just part of things that happen. And sometimes we can get stuck in a rut. Have you ever been that way that you just feel like stuck and you're like, it's like the same old, same old. Nothing to do, get up, you know, do my, do, do my thing, go to work, eat, you know, all those different things that you do on the everyday. And do you ever feel like you're just stuck in the same rut, you're just doing the same thing over and over? Like, that's the definition of insanity. But we get stuck in a rut and sometimes we can get stuck in a rut with our relationship with the Lord. What better way to reset and refocus right now? It's not too late. Maybe you made a goal at the beginning of the year saying, you know what? I'm going to get into the word of God more. Maybe you kind of fall and off by the wayside. Well, don't let condemnation come on you because this is a new day. This Tuesday, June 27th, it's about 7.32 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So wherever you are, it is a day to reset. It is a day to, as these summer days are happening, it's time for a summer shift. That's right, it's time to shift our position that we are in. And so we need to break out and we need to break into. And so the one thing is when you're a kid, we love summer, you know, at least I did. I love summer growing up. I love being outside all day and, you know, being told that when those street lights come on, you better be in that house. But we spent time outside all the time and just having fun, just doing stuff with your other friends in your neighborhood. And yes, it's something like that, but 
as an adult, we're like, oh, we can say we miss those childhood times. But even now, I want to encourage you right now, this day, to make a decision and a declaration that there's going to be a shift in your position to break out of that rut. And I know what it's like to be in a rut. We all get to those places where we're in ruts and just like, oh my goodness, I'm tired of being in the same old, same old. But what do we need to do? We say, Lord, how can we redeem our time? And how can we reflect on you? So I just want to share with you just a few little brief tips. You know, when we have this summer season. Now in the summertime, it is generally warm and hot and humid, depending on the climate you are. And so what you really need to, you always need hydration. So you need hydration in the natural, but you need to hydrate yourself with the word of God. Again, maybe you had a goal at the beginning of the year to read the word of God and you didn't, maybe you've fallen off by the wayside. Again, it's summertime, it's time for a reset and a shift. So as you take time to hydrate yourself in the natural, hydrate yourself on the daily, constantly with the word of God. And so what do you need to do? You need to also end the time, the season and the summertime, well, all the season around, you need to have this important stuff right here. You need to have your sunscreen on. That's so important. We have to, this like this is kind of our armor. It shields us from those harmful UV rays. We have to always put on the whole armor of God, not just part of the armor. Put that thing on the first thing you wake up in the morning, say, putting that conscious like I'm gonna put on the armor of God. And I know sometimes when it's overcast out, we say, oh, we don't need this beautiful stuff called sunscreen. But guess what? Yes, you do. You need to put it on daily. And you put on the armor of God you put that on daily and you think about these things that we have in the natural that helps us to focus on okay this is what the Lord's provided this is a reminder of what I need to do and that the remembering that the Lord he is our son and he shields us just as the sunscreen is a protection in the natural his word is a shield kind of like this hat it's going to shield me from bad hair days and things like that. So we, we can wear hats too as a means as it's a shield to protect. And that's what the that's how he covers us. The Lord is our covering. And if we abide in his presence and abide that he takes care of us, that there's an umbrella of protection over us. So this like this is my umbrella of protection just in case it's rain. And we are really good about putting on a hat for those bad hair days. And trust me, this humidity has been fierce and my hair's been like <laughs> But the thing is, yes, those things may happen. Again, this is something to encourage you to use things in everyday life to remind us to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to hydrate myself with the word of God. I'm going to saturate myself. I'm going to soak up his rays. But as I do, I'm going to apply his word. I'm going to put on the armor of God. Again, we have this time to redeem our time. Understanding that our days are numbered. We don't know when our life is going to end. And so as we are here and as you're in that place or saying that I am in this rut, I am encouraging you this day to break out of that rut and break into his presence, to get into that place and say, Lord, I'm going to steady myself. I'm going to shift and reposition and get excited about the word of God. Let me think about this. When I was a kid, I loved when the ice cream truck came down the road. Let me tell you something. That was when you heard that little jingle, you knew. And all the kids came running. Now, this is not ice cream. This is edible cookie dough. But this is just an illustration. You know how excited you got when the ice cream truck came down in your neighborhood and you would go beg mom or dad or grandpa or grandma, whoever it was in the home, say, hey, can I have some money? The ice cream truck is coming. The ice cream truck is coming. And you knew that there was a treat that you're going to partake of. Let me tell you something. Yes, the ice cream truck is only around in the summer. The Lord is our very present help. Let that excitement for him just propel you. Just like as a little kid, we're excited for things like the ice cream truck. We're excited about all those summer activities. And yes, summer comes and go. But let not that word dim within you. Keep on letting your light shine. His word is like an ever going ice cream truck. There should be excitement when you open his word and you dive in and eat it. And the thing about eating of God's word, there's not all those calories and fat like it's in, in you know, your ice cream. There's not, none of all of that. But when you dive into his word, it is nourishment for you. It will feed your soul. It will feed you. It will fuel you. It is what you need it. So as you think about this summer season that we're in, that's quickly going away, think about how you need to remember to 
hydrate yourself with the Word of God, that you need to apply the full armor of God, that you need to allow Him to be your shield and your protection, and that you can daily eat of His Word. And that's what I just wanted to come drop by on this glorious morning to share with you. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow night for Worship in the Word. And on next week, remember, next week, July 5th, our service for Worship in the Word is going to shift to 7 p.m. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you for this time. Lord, we thank you for the summer season that we're in. And Lord, for those who are in the place where they're feeling like they're in a rut and they're stuck and they're just nothing seeming to change or they're bored and they're just not knowing where to go. Lord, I pray that they will take these tools, Lord God, and they will apply it to their everyday life, Lord God. They will appropriate it. So, Lord God, that you will just refuel them and that there will be a reset and a reshift right now. We give you all the glory and we give you all the praise. Lord, thank you for what you're going to do. Thank you, Lord, for touching someone in their body right now that needs a healing touch. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Have an awesome rest of your day. And again, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow night for Worship and the Word. Bye-bye.